Good morning, guys. Uh, someone is cooking something downstairs and it smells really good. Um, it's only 7.34. I woke up two hours ago. Guys, I've finally got the brow lamination and lash lift. And I'm feeling so much better. <laughs> oh, okay. Where are you? Perth? Oh, Brisbane. I thought, oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Brows are browing. You know what? I never used to be a morning person either, but something has shifted in me the last couple of years. Ever since I um, started getting getting up early in the morning to go to the gym, I will never be the same. The only annoying thing about being a morning person is that um, you get tired early in the night. Which is fine during the week, but on weekends, it's annoying. <laughs> Yeah, when do you guys when do you guys get tired at night? When you get up earlier, it gets easier and after you get up you feel Yeah, exactly. Exactly it. To be honest, I would rather be more productive in the morning than more productive at night. Yeah, I get tired around 9, 9.30. That's when we go to bed as well. We are asleep at like 9.30. <laughs> but do you know what? That is just wor what works with our schedule. I keep on saying we. Don't know why I'm doing that. Is this good? Is that what we mean? Oh, makeup just goes on so much better when you've got your brows done. Like it doesn't actually, but it feels like it does. Oh, sleeping early. I mean, it's not so much the time you go to sleep, it's how much sleep you get. So if you wake up early, obviously sleeping early is a good thing because it means you get enough sleep. If you're waking up early and sleeping late, then you're probably <clears throat> most likely getting you know less than eight hours, which is not optimal. Yeah, I totally agree. I just, um, my brain works best in the morning. After 4 p.m., 
if you work with me, you know not to ask me to do anything <clears throat> intellectually taxing. <laughs> These mugs. I love this mug. It's so like heavy set. Yes, but if you flip it around, most of the time while I'm training, you're in bed in the morning. So tame these. There we go. That's better. Oh, is it? I don't meet many Evelyns. So this morning I went to the gym and every Tuesday I do cardio and I do it on the Stairmaster. Um, and there's only two Stairmasters, which is an issue in itself. Um, and two people were on it and they were on it for a long time. So I chose to go on the bike instead and like host my own little spin class for myself. Um, and it was actually good. Um, so my nine to five job is in management consulting and, um, Outside of that, I do nutrition coaching. Thank you. I got them lifted. How do you not get bored of the gym? Because, um, I don't know. There's just always, there's always something to improve. I mean, if you have like, um, the mindset of going there to achieve something rather than like going in there to punish yourself. I think it changes everything. How can I gain weight back? I've lost 10 plus kilos. Um, it depends on the reason you lost it. Did you lose it due to a condition or, or anything like that? Or just because you were under eating? Because the same, honestly, the, the way to gain weight for anyone is obviously to, to increase your calorie intake. But obviously that can be harder for some people than it is for others. Durham at Oakley, oh my god. So I've been seeing that place all over my FYP and it looks so crazy busy. So I'm thinking of waiting for it to die down a little bit if it does. I don't know if it will. Um but yeah, Oakley's not very close to me, so maybe on a weekend one day. Just to say that I've been. Has anyone been? What do you think of it? I've actually never been to a derriment in my life because, um, again, there's none really in my area. 3K members. Damn. But the place is massive. Like, it looks like an, it can um, accommodate that. I felt like Muscle City was feeling a bit quiet this weekend. That's probably why. Yeah, like it's pretty, um, it's pretty good for the price. With the broadcast channel on Insta, how come people can't reply to anything? Um, so I think that's how broadcast channels work. So, um, it's just basically a place for me to like brain dump. Um, if I could allow people to reply, I would. So yeah, I'm still kind of figuring it out. Yeah, that is awesome. Um, I use uh, Kevin Murphy shampoo and conditioner. I alternate between the Kevin Murphy range though. Um, and my favorite perfume, I have two favorites, um, Coco Mademoiselle and um, Chloe. The like OG Chloe. This eye is puffy. I 
I'm actually starving. I feel like I'm always saying that. But yeah, guys, I started a broadcast channel on Instagram last night just to give it a go. Because I post like frequently on my stories and sometimes it's TMI. So I, I'm giving people the option to, to opt into that or not. Yeah, I will go. I will provide the verdict, but I'm not sure about a membership. It's just not um, convenient for me, really. And I can, I simply cannot have three gym memberships. Surprisingly, we did not meet at the gym. Will gym help me gain weight? Do I have to get the meal plans? So gym will not make you gain weight because you cannot possibly gain weight without eating more. And that's a very common misconception. People think that, um, people think lifting weights will make you gain weight. But if you think about it, like from a purely physiological perspective, like nothing can get bigger if you don't put something into it. So if you don't put extra fuel into your body, you cannot possibly increase the mass of your body, regardless of what you do. In fact, the increased output from the gym is probably not going to be the best for helping to gain weight because your expenditure is increasing. So you're expending more energy. If anything, it would help you lose weight rather than gain it. So it is really, really important if you're trying to gain weight. Obviously, going to the gym and lifting is one thing so that the weight can be um, channeled into your to building your muscles. But you need to be eating in a calorie surplus. Otherwise, there is no chance that you're going to gain weight. Do you see yourself doing nine to five for the long term? I hate it so much. Firstly, if you hate it so much, you are not stuck. Like, I know it could feel like you are, but you're not stuck there is always always options for you um even if you can like i don't know if you work from home at the moment you could find a hybrid job or a work from home job it feels a little less like nine to five -y. 